In this video, you will see um, the creation of a piece of art in the Fauvist style. We are going to be looking at a soldier from the Vietnam War as it fits with our theme. So the first thing you can see me doing is I am working on Google and I am searching for an image that I want to draw. I don't want anything too complicated because it will take too long. So I have gone for a nice close up shot of a soldier's face. I have saved the image to my computer and I've gone in because I want to get a grid on it. Now this image has been um, saved as a file that can't be edited. So you will see I am having to convert it into a JPEG file. So I'm having to save as and I am changing it to a JPEG. I will then be able to open the image again and whenever I then go to edit it I can select on the crop button and you can see that will give me a grid in front of the image. Now um, as I gridded it it was on the screen while I was drawing I need to get my page to the correct proportions so it was roughly half as tall as it was wide so I have split my page like that to make sure that my picture doesn't become stretched. Once I have the page that I'm working on the right side I'm going to split it into three each way as was the grid on my image on the computer screen while I was working. Now using the grid to help me with proportions I was able to look at my image and figure out where each um, aspect of the picture crossed in the different boxes. So you can see that the eye was right in the very centre and I was able to compare the proportions on the computer screen to the box size and do the same on my picture while I was drawing it. Now do double check your work as you are drawing in case you make inaccuracies. So I wasn't confident with my eye size. I did then realise that I was having issues with it not looking right because I hadn't drawn the left side of the face. So it was just appearing slightly wrong because of that. Once I'm happy with my drawing, I've rubbed out the grid lines because I don't want a grid behind my image. So beginning with the background, I am working, keeping my paint going in the same direction. So although I am painting around the edge of the image, I am then drawing that paint out to get a flat horizontal background. Now, as we are drawing inspiration from the Fauvist painters, I am not using accurate colors. I chose to use blue colors for the face because it's associated with a kind of sad, Color and the slogan on the soldier's helmet shows that he isn't terribly happy. Now, although I'm not using the right color, I am still focusing on where the dark and light colors are. So you can see I'm using a darker shade of blue where the darker shadows are appearing on the face. And I am mixing in a white paint with that to get the lighter areas. Watercolors are quite easy to work with because even after they've dried, adding water will affect them and you'll be able to continue to blend the colors that you have already placed on the page. Now, while I was painting this, I was continually looking at the picture that I was painting so I could see very, very carefully where the dark and the light areas were. I wasn't happy that the blue went dark enough so I've worked in some purple paint to get in some darker shades most of those are falling straight underneath the hat and in and around the eyes. I thought about my colour theory when choosing a colour to go with the blue so I have gone for orange as they complement one another. Again thinking about my darker and lighter areas as orange is made up of red and yellow by adding in some red I can get the colour to get a little bit darker. I'm looking at all the shades that appear in the hat, but I'm also thinking about the lighter tints by adding in white. If you find that your page starts to tear up a little bit, as you can see has happened on my page, that's because the paper's been overworked while it's wet. So you need to let your paper rest for a while to dry out 
before working back onto it. And again, I've added in some purple for my darker areas on the image. Now, very, very last thing I've done is I have added in a tiny bit of black. The Fauvists tend to have very bright colors, so you don't want to have too much black on there. So just to help get some of the, the darker areas to stand out a little bit more.